Good morning. I hope that you are all well. And wherever we are, if I may invite that before we start our service to have a little moment of quiet, gather our thoughts together, settle down to worship the Lord. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Grace, mercy, and peace from God our Father and the Lord Jesus Christ be with you, and also with you. Alleluia! Christ is risen. He is risen indeed. Alleluia! I think now time to sit back and listen to the wonderful music. I'm going to hand over to Graham Long and beautiful beautiful hymn and the words are going to come on the screen and why not in the privacy of your home join in and sing i the lord of sea and sky i have heard my people cry Oh 
Thank you very much, Graham. That was absolutely fantastic. And I hope that you people enjoyed it as well. But if I now may invite you to please turn to your service sheets and we say together the prayer of preparation. Almighty God, to whom all hearts are open, all desires known, and from whom no secrets are hidden, cleanse the thoughts of our hearts by the inspiration of your Holy Spirit, that we may perfectly love you and worthily magnify your holy name through Christ our Lord. Amen. Our Lord Jesus Christ said, The first commandment is this, Hear, O Israel, the Lord our God is the only Lord, you shall love the Lord your God with all your heart, with all your soul, with all your mind, and with all your strength. The second is this, love your neighbor as yourself. There is no other commandment greater than these. On these two commandments hang all the law and the prophets. Amen. Lord, have mercy. God so loved the world that he gave his only son, Jesus Christ, to save us from our sins, to be our advocate in heaven, and to bring us to eternal life. So let us come before the Lord and confess our sins in penitence and faith, firmly resolved to keep God's commandments and to live in love and peace with all. Obviously, the Lord do hear our words, whatever we use, but if you prefer to use the set word, then please join with me. Almighty God, our Heavenly Father, we have sinned against you and against our neighbour in thought and word and deed, through negligence, through weakness, through our own deliberate fault. We are truly sorry and repent of all our sins, for the sake of your Son, Jesus Christ, who died for us, forgive us all that is past, and grant that we may serve you in newness of life to the glory of your name. Amen. Almighty God, who forgives all who truly repent, have mercy upon you, pardon and deliver you from all your sins, confirm and strengthen you in all goodness, and keep you in eternal life through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. And please do join me wherever you are as we say the Gloria. Glory to God in the highest and peace to his people on earth. Lord God, Heavenly King, Almighty God and Father, we worship you, we give you thanks, we praise you for your glory, Lord Jesus Christ, only Son of the Father, Lord God, Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world, have mercy on us. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, receive our prayer, for you alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord, you alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit. In the glory of God the Father. Amen. And a special prayer for this Sunday, the fifth Sunday of Easter. Almighty God, who through your only begotten Son, Jesus Christ, have overcome death and opened to us the gate of everlasting life, grant that as by your grace going before us, you put into our minds good desires, so by your continual help, we may bring them to good effect through Jesus Christ, our risen Lord, who is alive and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, now 
and forever. Amen. Before I say a few words from the Lord, that we have got two Bible readings. First it is Peter going to read Acts and then uh, Yvonne is going to read the Gospel. The reading is taken from Acts chapter 7 verses 55 to 60. But he, full of the Holy Spirit, gazed into heaven and saw the glory of God and Jesus standing at the right hand of God. And he said, Behold, I see the heavens opened and the Son of Man standing at the right hand of God. But they cried out with a loud voice and stopped their ears and rushed together upon him. Then they cast him out of the city and stoned him. And the witnesses laid down their garments at the feet of a young man named Saul. And as they were stoning Stephen, he prayed, Lord Jesus, receive my spirit. And he knelt down and cried with a loud voice, Lord, do not hold this sin against them. And when he had said this, he fell asleep. Hear the Gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ according to John. Do not let your hearts be troubled. Believe in God. Believe also in me. In my father's house there are many dwelling places. If it were not so, would I have told you that I go to prepare a place for you? And if I go and prepare a place for you, I will come again and will take you to myself, so that where I am, there you may be also. And you know the way to the place where I am going. Thomas said to him, Lord, we do not know where you are going. How can we know the way? Jesus said to him, I am the way and the truth and the life. No one comes to the Father except through me. If you know me, you will know my Father also. From now on, you do know him and have seen him. Philip said to him, Lord, show us the Father and we will be satisfied. Jesus said to him, Have I been with you all this time, Philip, and you still do not know me? Whoever has seen me has seen the Father. How can you say, Show us the Father? Do you not believe that I am in the Father, and the Father is in me? The words that I say to you, I do not speak on my own, but my, the Father who dwells in me does his works. Believe me that I am in the Father, and the Father is in me. But if you do not, then believe me because of the works themselves. Very truly, I tell you, the one who believes in me will also do the works that I do, and, in fact, will do greater works than these, because I am going to the Father. I will do whatever you ask in my name, so that the Father may be glorified in the Son. If in my name you ask me for anything, I will do it. This is the Gospel of the Lord. Thank you very much, Peter. Thank you very much, Yvonne, Yvonne for reading so beautifully. Let's now bow our heads and pray. Father, in Jesus' name, we give you the glory. And Lord, I ask in the name of Jesus that wherever we are, pour your Holy Spirit upon us, so Lord, our minds, our hearts may be open to hear your voice. And as for me, Lord, I pray that words coming from my mouth glorify the name of my Saviour and build up his faithful. In Jesus' name we ask. Amen. I guess that you would agree with me that we are living through extraordinary times. Aren't these extraordinary times? 
the last few days as well as few days coming will be unique by any measure. Two days ago, we celebrated 75th B-Day anniversary and I hope that you had some fun together with the family to celebrate that great day and we thank God for the peace which did come and indeed every reason to rejoice. However, that in only few, the same week we also heard the sad news that the UK has got the highest COVID-19 related deaths in Europe. Sad news, obviously. Understandably, there have been many different reactions to these news. Most dominant at the moment being, it is too early to compare different countries. I obviously do agree, however, that I believe that uh, it is also time to sit back and think a little bit. Not at all that I deny that one day such comparisons will be useful, that which country dealt with the virus, how, and how many countries truly, how many people each country truly did lose to the virus. But what I mean at this moment to sit back is to think that does it really matter today to a man or a woman, to a child who is mourning the loss of a loved ones. Today I believe that those who mourn, they want to hear some different news. And I believe that from God's word, I have something to talk about. The news I have for you in Christ's name. A gospel passage, a well-known passage, which begins Jesus saying, Do not let your hearts be troubled. Trust in me. Trust in my Father too. You see that in the middle of the life here Jesus is inviting us to exchange fear with trust, anxiety with hope. Why? Because he says that in his father's house there are many rooms. And I pray, I hope, that uh, in spite of all the pain you are going through, that you may be encouraged, that your loved one and all others who have gone in the hope and faith of Christ, they are not lost in the vastness of the universe, but they have gone to a fixed address, to the Father's house, where for each his child there is a place. Also, Perhaps these words be of encouragement to you that when the loved one departed in the faith of Christ, their journey was not lonely. Their Saviour, as he promised, he was with them even through the darkest valley. And as we go through the dark valley of grief, I hope and pray that we may take heart because the same Lord has promised that our separation is not permanent, but one day we shall meet again in Father's house. But then are us who still remain on this side of the life, who not only with grief, but many other things have to put up or understand. I guess most of us are aware that the buzzword today is lockdown restrictions are going to be eased. 
Most of us are eagerly waiting to hear what our Prime Minister has to tell us later today. The hopes are high that at last we will start journey back to normal life. But it shouldn't surprise any of us really that for some the excitement is mixed with much anxiety. Yes, indeed, a joyful anticipation of some normalities coming back, but worries too because the COVID-19 is going to remain with us for some time to come. I pray that in such moments of worries and concerns, you may remember the words of the Saviour, who said that I am the way, the truth and the life. The life journey, he said that I am that life. But perhaps you want to say that, wait a minute, now Paul, does it mean that if we trust Jesus as the way, the truth and the life, we can just go out and be the way we want to be? Well, not quite like that. And if you ask my opinion, I believe that anyone who believes in God's word and does not take care if there are problems out there, they are actually disobeying God's word. Proverbs chapter 22 verse 3, Proverbs chapter 27 verse 12 says, the prudent man sees danger and takes refuge. But then what did Jesus mean that I am the way, the truth and the life? Well, I want to draw your attention to this reality that before Jesus became the way to the Father, he took the way to the cross. It was first the cross, then he became the way to the Father. I believe that the cross of the virus is going to stay with us for some time to come. But let us not forget in those moments that where there is cross, there is the way, way our Saviour, Lord Jesus Christ, our Good Shepherd, who has promised that I will never leave you alone. I am with you to the end. Yes, perhaps when the ease of the, uh, the, the it, it comes, there may be hardships. Who knows? that am I ever going to speak to you again? I do not know. But one thing I know, that if there is cross for me, there is way for me, because my Saviour has prepared the way for me. With that hope, with that anticipation, with that joy in Him, we have security even beyond the physical life. We can step out by faith. May Lord bless you. May the Lord increase faith in you in these hard times. Amen. Let us now once again listen to the music. I'm handing over back to uh, Graham Long and the uh, beautiful, beautiful hymn choice again. Peace is flowing like a river.
setting all the captives free. Love is flowing like a river, flowing out through you and me, spreading out into the desert, setting all the captives free. flowing like a river, flowing out through you and me, spreading out into the desert, setting all the captives free. Hope is flowing like a river, all the captives free. Christ brings peace to all creation, flowing out through you and me. Love, joy, hope, and true salvation, setting all the captives free. Thank you very much, Graham. That was absolutely beautiful. Next, we are going to say what we believe. Obviously, our tradition in the church is that we stand when we say the creed. I am here standing, but uh, you don't have to. But if you feel that you want to stand, why not join with me as we say? We believe in one God, the Father, the Almighty, maker of heaven and earth a fall that is seen and unseen. We believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only Son of God, eternally begotten of the Father, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten, not made, of one being with the Father, through him all things were made. For us and for our salvation, he came down from heaven, was incarnate from the Holy Spirit and the Virgin Mary, and was made man. For our sake he was crucified in the Pontius Pilate. He suffered death and was buried. On the third day he rose again in accordance with the scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead and his kingdom will have no end. We believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is worshipped and glorified, who has spoken through the prophets. We believe in one holy, Catholic and apostolic church. We acknowledge one that is baptism for the forgiveness of sin. We look for the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. Let us now come before the Lord. We sit as David James lead us in our intercessions. Shall we pray? Heavenly Father, Thank you for the presence of the Holy Spirit in our lives. Through your presence, grant us each day a closer walk with you. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Thank you for all that you have given us through our Lord and Saviour, Jesus Christ. Help us to be true witnesses to the faith we have and to be worthy of the name we bear. Forgive us for the number of times we fail to honour your name. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. 
We pray for those who are suffering because of coronavirus. We pray for the families and friends of those who are grieving because of the loss of a loved one. We pray that they will know your comfort. We thank you, Heavenly Father, for all those working in hospitals or care homes or elsewhere, caring for those who are ill. We ask that you will protect them and give them the skill and energy they need. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. We pray for those national and international medical agencies working to control the spread of the virus. We ask that you give them success. We pray for those looking to develop a vaccine and therapeutic treatment. We ask that there may be real cooperation internationally. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. We pray for this country, for our church and for its witness to our country. We pray for all in the position of Christian leadership. We pray that they'll be guided by your spirit to give guidance and wisdom and comfort to this country. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. And we pray for the homeless and those living on the poverty line or in need of support at this time. We thank you for those continuing to help the Bromley Food Bank and other similar support initiatives. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. We pray for your kingdom and thank you for the movement of your spirit and the countless number of people around the world who continue to become Christians. We pray particularly for those in countries where it's not safe to admit that you're Christian or to show that you are a Christian by what you say or do. So we pray for all those who are persecuted or being harmed for their faith, that your spirit will comfort and encourage and protect. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. We pray for all the churches here in Hayes and our Christian witness. We pray for our ministry and leadership team here at St Mary's and the leaders of the other churches in Hayes. We particularly pray for our young people and parents at this difficult time when movement is so restricted. Thank you for all those who help to teach and guide our children. We ask that our children may come to know the truth and the love that there is in Christ. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. We pray for those in Hayes who particularly need our prayers. And we think of the families of those recently bereaved of whom this has been a particularly difficult time. And we pray for those who are supporting loved ones who are suffering. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. And finally, we pray for ourselves, that you will deepen our love for you and our knowledge of you. Show us, Heavenly Father, where we can help others, carrying out the mission to bring good news to your world. May we have your strength to do all that is right in your sight and protect us from all those things of the world or the devil would throw at us to distract us from you. Thank you that you are an amazing God who loves us so much that we cannot begin to imagine or grasp or fathom that love. Merciful Father, accept these prayers for the sake of your Son, our Saviour, Jesus Christ. Thank you very much, David. It is now the time as we prepare to join the Lord's table to share the peace. In normal circumstances in the church, we would be shaking hands, we would be giving a hug to each other. But if you are with your loved one, obviously you can share the peace, but otherwise the Lord knows our hearts, which are yearning to be back together as a family of God and I believe before too long it is going to happen. The risen Christ came and stood among his disciples and said, Peace be with you. Then were they glad when they saw the Lord. Hallelujah. The peace of the Lord be always with you and also with you. As I prepare the table, you prepare together with me, hearts as well, as we break the bread.
us pray. Father God, we give you glory. We thank you that everything in heaven and on earth belongs to you. All what we are, all what we have, it comes from you. Accept us, Lord, through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. This morning, we are using Common Worship Prayer H from the Anglican Liturgy. Let us, in a moment of silence, remember the promise of our Saviour, who said that wherever we are gathered together in his name, he is among us. The Lord is here. His Spirit is with us. Lift up your hearts. We lift them to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right to give thanks and praise. It is right to praise you, Father, Lord of all creation. In your love you made us for yourself. When we turned away, you did not reject us, but came to meet us in your Son. You embraced us as your children and welcomed us to sit and eat with you. In Christ, you shared our life that we might live in him and he in us. He opened his arms of love upon the cross and made for us all the perfect sacrifice for sin. On the night he was betrayed at supper with his friends, he took bread and gave you thanks. He broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take, eat, this is my body, which is given for you. Do this in remembrance of me. Father, we do this in remembrance of him. His body is the bread of life. At the end of supper, taking the cup of wine, he gave you thanks and said, Drink this, all of you. This is my blood of the new covenant, which is shed for you for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in remembrance of me. Father, we do this in remembrance of him. His blood is shed for us all. As we proclaim his death and celebrate his rising in glory, send your Holy Spirit that this wine and this bread may be to us the body and blood of your dear Son. As we eat and drink these holy gifts, make us one in Christ, our risen Lord. With your whole church throughout the world, we offer you the sacrifice of praise and lift our voice to join the eternal song of heaven. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of power and might, heaven and earth are full of your glory, O Senna in the highest. As our Saviour taught us, so we pray. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done, on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sin, as we forgive those who sin against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. We break this bread to share in the body of Christ. Though we are many, we are one body because we all share in one bread. Draw near with faith, receive the body of our Lord Jesus Christ, which he gave for you, and his blood, which he shed for you. Eat and drink in remembrance that he died for you and feed on him in your hearts, by faith, with thanksgiving. And we join together to say the prayer of humble accepts. 
We do not presume to come to this your table, O merciful Lord, trusting in our own righteousness, but in your manifold and great mercy. We are not worthy so much as to gather up the crumbs under your table, but you are the same Lord, whose nature is always to have mercy. Grant us, therefore, gracious Lord, so to eat the flesh of your dear Son, Jesus Christ, and to drink his blood, that our sinful bodies, made clean by his body, and our souls washed through his most precious blood, and that we may evermore dwell in him and he in us. Amen. I take this bread on behalf of a soul, the body of Lord Jesus Christ. Keep us in eternal life. Amen. blood of Christ shed for our soul may keep us in life eternal. Amen. Let us pray. Eternal God, whose Son Jesus Christ is the way, the truth, and the life, grant us to walk in his way, to rejoice in his truth, and to share his risen life, who is alive and reigns now and forever. Amen. And we join together as we say the prayer of thanks. Almighty God, we thank you for feeding us with the body and blood of your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him we offer you our souls and bodies to be a living sacrifice. Send us out in the power of your Spirit to live and work to your praise and glory. Amen. Let us turn our hearts towards God to receive his peace and his blessing. May the God of peace who brought again from the dead, our Lord Jesus Christ, that great shepherd of the sheep, through the blood of the eternal covenant, make you perfect in every good work to do his will, working in you that which is well-pleasing in his sight, and the blessings of God Almighty, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit be among you and remain with you always. Amen. Let us go in peace to love and serve in the name of Christ. Alleluia, alleluia. Amen.
Thank you.